So I come to tell you he's alive, to tell you that he dries every tear that falls. Hello everyone, this is Clint Louie and I'm coming to you with five minutes from friendship. Thank you for joining with me today. Let me put my glasses on so that I can see. I want my eyes to be in tune. And I have a question for you. Where are your eyes? Where are our eyes? Well, in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, we read of a prayer by a great king, King Jehoshaphat. And he gathered the people together and they came and they sought the Lord and Jehoshaphat and the people prayed. And I want you to listen to this verse, verse 12, 2 Chronicles 20 and verse 12. The king prays and says, O our God, wilt thou not judge them? He's speaking of the enemy. For we have no might against this great company that cometh against us. Neither know we what to do, but our eyes are upon thee. Jehoshaphat said, our eyes are upon the Lord. And I want to ask us, where are our eyes at? You know, Hebrews 12 tells us that we are to be looking unto Jesus. God wants your eyes upon him. He wants our attention upon him. He wants our lives to have a sweet walk with Jesus. You know, the, the, the walk we have with Jesus as Christians that is the heart. That is the center, or it ought to be the center of everything else we do in life. Our eyes must be upon Christ. May I tell you that God will disturb your life to get your eyes upon him. He'll get your attention. Have you ever met somebody that says, God knows how to get our attention? Oh, he does. If you read 2 Chronicles 20, you find out that a great company, an army, Actually, several armies had come against the people of Judah and Jehoshaphat. You talk about a bad day. These people, you know, look around and all of a sudden, here comes the enemy marching in. But Jehoshaphat recognized that this was not the time to throw up the hands and say, Oh, no, this was the time to run to God and say, Lord, we're looking unto thee. Our eyes are upon thee. You know, I, I realize that the great disturbances of our lives, they hurt us. But understand, God's not trying to hurt you. He's trying to bring you to himself because in Christ you are free. In Christ you are strong. In Christ you find all that you need. So may I say, yes, the great disturbances of our lives, they're worth it. If they bring us to the place where we look unto Jesus. Because you see, when we're looking unto Jesus, that's the place of devotion. God wants your heart open to him. And when you come to him and you learn to be still and know that he is God, then you'll find the place of deliverance in your life. Let me read you something I have here. This is, written, this is a man by a man named Abraham Poljak. Abraham Poljak. He was a Jew who survived Hitler's Holocaust. And listen what he said about the Holocaust and about what he went through. Abraham Poljak said, I thank God for all the strokes with which I was driven from darkness to light. It is better that we arrive beaten and bleeding at the glorious goal than that we decay happily and contented in darkness. As long as things were all right with us, we did not know anything of God and the salvation of our souls and the world beyond. Hitler's arrows and our misery have led us to the innermost heart. We have lost our earthly home, but found the heavenly one. We have lost our economic support, but won the friendship of the ravens of Elijah. On the bitter ways of immigration, we have found Jesus, the riches of all worlds. He said, God disturbed our lives, but he pointed our eyes to him and we found the true riches in Christ. This is Clint Louie. Let's put our eyes on Jesus. Have a great day.